Hey everyone, so I want to show you guys my shoe organization. Um, this is so far what I have, but let's get started. Uh, so on the top here, all the way to the bottom, are these um, container store shoe rack. Or, yeah, I think they were shoe racks. And I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And they're about $12.99 each, and I store them. I have my shoes laid out so that it's um you know so one out and one in so that there's more room to actually lay these out and um i kind of have them by like the highest heels first and then all the way down to like the small ones which are more for work appropriate ones like so um all the nude one new color ones are all like up here sort of uh, down the middle and then all like the bigger heel type and then down to like the booties area and I have my booties stored here and then just some of the sandals for like um, the summer and then over here I have these in um, it's like you know one of those container I think I got this at container store as well but it's just one of the ones that you hang up um, by velcro and then I have my flats in here so here are all the Tory Burch ones and then all my Tom's ones and this one here is from the Missoni Target Steve Madden ones and then just my sneakers and then here I have my huge boots um, they don't usually fit on the top so I have these here I just have like the black uh, cognac and the dark brown ones and then up here I have all the boots um, just laying back these are like the flat heeled boots so I can see them and I can grab them I do have magazines rolled up in these so that they stay up instead of falling on top of each other so this is a nice segue into a shoeaholic tag, which I saw from uh, Jenna from head to toe. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into that. Hey everyone, so I'm here with a shoeaholic tag video. No one tagged me, but I wanted to do this one since I saw Jen from head to toe uh, doing this video. I actually didn't know about this tag going around and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this one because I have been buying a lot of pairs of shoes lately. I'm sorry about my hair actually, it's a little crinkly from... Uh, I just got done a tutorial. So I have some of the questions here on my phone. And uh, number one is heels or flats. I am definitely a flats girl. Like I wear flats a lot of the times during the weeks, um, during the weekdays, and even you know on the weekends. Um, a lot of my go-to stuff is like you know boots. But usually on weekends, you know I have um, boots that I wear um, where it has some chunk. It has like a chunky heel, which I'll show a little bit. Uh, but or just wear my knee-high flat boots um, that I usually wear. So. Two, what are your go-to shoes? And my go-to shoes are these Steve Madden pair of boots. They kind of look like very cowboyish, um, but I saw this at DSW that I uh, probably a year ago or something. That I've just been wearing this like nonstop during the fall time and even the winter time here, and I kind of worn the heel down a bit too. Uh, but I love these. I love the color. It's just um, very like a faded cognac type of color and then the buckle here so like these and like I said these are just this is like probably the heel that I would wear um, comfortably during the weekends when I want to run errands and such three what's your favorite shoe trend at the moment um, my favorite shoe trend is definitely the color blocking which I do have a pair here it's these Jessica Simpson um, like light uh, I want to say this is what eggplant or can't remember what color this is. and uh, I like this pair since it has like that kind of groove cut in here is very different than the normal normal pair although these um, after wearing it for a couple of times I thought that they were comfortable at first but then after wearing it for like an hour but then again I was standing the whole time um, they didn't <laughs> end up being my comfy pair but I did try out like the Dr. Scholl's um, sole expressions which it has like 
three pairs of like the soles in here there's um the color one and then the leopard one and the black one that i've been using i actually don't take the sticker off um i kind of just lay it flat against here and just wear it and it does help it does give some added comfort to the pairs of heels so uh, just a tip there and number four was your least favorite shoe trend and my least favorite has to be Gladiator shoes. I really didn't see a point in them when they came out like the sandals uh, They were like all the way up to the knee some of them are and it's just like I don't know I didn't really want to be like in the Roman time so and number five, what's your most expensive pair of shoes? Um, funny that you should say this because this is actually pretty new to me. This is the Poor Luck Victory uh, pair of pumps here. But these I haven't worn. They just came in last week. These are definitely like my um, most expensive for now. I typically don't want to go over a certain amount um, on a pair of pumps or shoes um, unless it's you know designer brands I did at one point get a YSL pair of pumps but I, I returned those because I wasn't sure if I would really wear them too often um, also the sizing I wasn't sure if the, that was like the right correct size so six what are your most wanted pair so I have, um, I definitely wanted to get the YSL Trip 2 but probably in a different color than the one that I pre previously got and I wanted to actually try out some of the sizes too just to see or the um, um, Louboutins ones, uh, those two are probably like the two that I wanted to add to my collection Number 7, what's your most embarrassing shoe story? Okay, so this is a, several years ago. Um, I was in Toronto with my um, husband and, and his parents and we were at the Pacific Mall and I decided to break in a pair of heels. I am not sure what I was thinking because, you know, like you typically want to wear them around the house just a little bit just to break them in before you walk all over creation with them. But So I had to go into another store to pick up a pair of shoes and I got these here. It's like a wooden um, type of um, pair of heels and then the heel is definitely different which is why I guess I I picked this um, for that reason alone but and then it has like the hardware on the side and everything so I don't know I thought this was kind of edgy at the time so <laughs> that's my story for that and question number nine is how many pairs of shoes do you own which I just counted today and uh, I have 72 pairs which I don't think is that many compared to my friends um, I know a friend of mine who uh, have a hundred pairs of shoes and I think they're mostly designers I have a mix of like you know high and low brands so <laughs> um, number 10 was when was the first time you wore heels I think the first time I wore heels uh, I think I remember wearing them when when I was like trying out my mom's shoes like they were just so high and everything But the first time I wore um, on my own is I want to say in, in middle school um, Yeah, I think in, in middle school Either middle school or high school like during the dances and everything and obviously you wear heels for those But I remember just wearing them and I didn't remember struggling too much in them and number 11 is how much do you spend on shoes okay so it depends on the pair um i really like for for designers i won't i won't mind spending um around um, I kind of want, I, like, I won't mind spending like 700 I know that's really high, but I have seen that you can get them as low as like 300 which is when if I know that a pair of shoes will go on sale for that low, then I will not spend like 700 for that. I will definitely try to find a good deal on it. Um, so, but I wouldn't mind spending 300 or around 300 400 range for the pair of shoes, only because like I feel as you go up in prices, the comfort should be better, like the way it's made should be better. Um, although there are some pairs that's <laughs> that aren't as comfy as they should be, but they are, they're supposed to be as, as far as like craftsmanship goes. And uh, if I'm gonna spend that much on it, it's for sure it has to be like the best, um, the way it's made and everything has to be like perfect <laughs> number 12 where are your favorite places to buy shoes my recent favorite place to shop for shoes is at Nordstrom um, only because like they have the great customer service as far as like returning policy goes they are really lax in that area although I'm not trying to abuse it or anything like that but um, I have returned a pair of shoes that I I've uh, kept even because I guess like I thought that I would get some wear out of it, but I never wore it So it's like there's no point and I returned those um, but in, in that sense I returned it But I bought something there that I like
liked better, which I, you know, was able to use. So I, I like that I can um, buy a pair of shoes or buy something that I don't really necessarily have to commit until I really love, love, love the pair that I'll keep. Um, but I've, I've kept quite a bit from them before. So, but in that, in that sense, um, I definitely, definitely like Nordstrom, so... Number 13 is, do you have a pair of shoes you regret purchasing? Um, sadly, I have a ton of <laughs> pairs I do regret purchasing, and uh, I've given them to, like, Goodwill and, and such, um, but I still have this one pair that I haven't decided whether or not to, like, give it up, but it's these, like, Mary Jane's ones here. These are, like, the BCBG Girls one. I believe I got these at DSW. I like these pairs. I do like them, but the only thing is that this on the side here, like, for some reason, I don't know what's in it, but it really really digs into your um like the side of my feet and i don't like that i've been trying to like see if i could you know bend it with a clip and everything just to like stretch it out sometimes i'll, try, I'll wear them just like for a special occasion or whatever and lastly 14 show your favorite pair of shoes and i have to say it's these pair of long uh knee-high boots here that is from steve madden and i like the way this is cut how it's you know, there's the um, leather panel on the front with like the stretchy materials in the back. I feel this is very reminiscent of the Stortz um, Weitzman 50-50 pair, but it's, this is like a fraction of the price, which is not too bad. Like I, I prefer these um, more, much more. And they were really comfy and I was able to like wear them like almost, you know, all over DC uh, when my friends were visiting and everything. So I typically don't tag anyone in this video, but there is one particular person that I do want to see this video from. And it's Wendy from Wendy's Lookbook. Uh, I have a feeling that she might have a hard time picking what her favorite pair is. So, so Wendy, you're tagged if you haven't done this yet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to do this tag, feel free to do so and post it as a video response. I'd love to see what's in your closet. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.